Oh, that's Spider-Man 3. We want details, but they definitely don't want to deliver. But let's talk about a film studio that's teasing Spider-Man 3 being a Spider-Verse. And this is... Are these notes right? Yeah. Paramount? What the f- So we've had an incident where Sony's international channel decides to upload a TV spot slash like trailer hyping up Spider-Man 3 and then they took it down and pretended like it didn't happen. But then again, this is Sony and they've literally uploaded a full movie to YouTube and they've also issued copyright strikes on themselves. Sony, everyone! Well, what people found interesting recently that was published by Paramount over in their Spanish regions, again, I'm starting to wonder what do the Spanish speaking countries know that we don't about everything and why are they always jumping the gun out of all places Paramount's international market decided to tweet a photo of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield saying that both of these Spider-Men will be joining Tom Holland in Spider-Man 3 as part of the Spider-Verse huh Paramount what the f how what why it's a rival studio to Sony and Disney. Again, this had to go through logistics. Like when you're part of these bigger companies that have Twitter accounts like this, there's things that have to be in place before you post something. The only thing I could think of that maybe hasn't been announced yet is that maybe Paramount is going to be a new distributor in certain international markets. That's the only thing I could think of. And if you guys remember, Paramount was actually involved with specific MCU films before Disney and Marvel Studios were like, you know what, we're just going to buy you all out and we don't want to share anything and have you distribute anything. But go watch some of those early MCU films and you're going to see the Paramount logo there, which is a little strange, but at the time, it was strange times trying to make the Avengers a reality. So maybe it's something like that. Again, I have no idea, but it's still there. Paramount continues to post things. They never took it down. Nobody said it's an accident, so I guess this is another confirmation of this, which again just makes me scratch my head and wonder what the hell is happening and why is Paramount behind this. So who really knows what's going to be happening? I mean, for all we know, maybe they haven't announced it yet, Paramount is going to be a new distribution partner on other Sony projects. And somehow all the studios are now involved with this and they're just waiting to announce it. Because at this point, who really cares anymore? I mean, all the studios are struggling at this point, and I could see them all trying to help each other in some weird way. So why not have everybody, I guess, benefit? The only one missing here is Universal, but I wouldn't put it past them to be like, sure, we're going to add, what the hell does Universal own? Crash Bandicoot. There we go. Yes. Crash Bandicoot and his glorious jorts.